Suyin, my notes say our next topic is jobs. Jobs? What kind of jobs? Like cleaning up our set and getting pizza for the break? No, no, no. I'm talking about the kind of jobs that egg businesses provide. Jobs like running a big plant, or doing research, or being involved in energy and food production. You're right there, Joel. We need jobs for a strong economy so we can support ourselves and invest for the future. I know that agriculture is a lot more than just growing crops and milking cows or feeding livestock. Absolutely. There are thousands of great jobs out there in agriculture. We interviewed several people who told us how they got involved in some really cool careers. Here's what they had to say. Well, right now this industry is really new. These plants are being built all over the Midwest. Each plant requires approximately 40 people to work at it. We have a general manager, operations manager, operations supervisor. There's like 10 people that work in the office here. And then there's also 25 jobs that are out in the plant. They're good paying jobs. They're skilled positions. Like myself as a chemist, you know, you get a decent salary. Maintenance guys require a, a good salary and boiler operators get paid very well. Just starting out now, there are some technical and community colleges starting up biofuels programs. For the majority of people that would go to that are going to be operators within the plant. I guess what I'm most familiar with are the jobs in the laboratory, which is a process support laboratory. So there's me, which would be the manager of that lab. And in addition, there are two employees in that lab, a lab technician and then a lab assistant. And the lab technician position requires a four-year degree in some type of science. The lab manager, uh, she has a four-year chemistry degree. Uh, the general manager has a four-year business degree. Uh, the operations manager, myself, has a two-year business degree. This was my first job right out of college, so I had no other past, really, experience as a chemist besides going to college. So when I started here, I got hired as a manager, so I was in charge of um, our laboratory with two people working for me. and. Uh, it's just, it's a neat job because it's a small company. There's not a lot of people working here. We have very good equipment to work with, um, very good instrumentation in my laboratory, even nicer than some stuff I had in college. I like being in the rural part of a community. I grew up in the dairy industry, so I can appreciate what the farmers do. And this particular facility is a farmer-owned cooperative. So it's nice to work for the farmers. I guess that's a good part about working here is that it's locally owned. I'm a high school student and interested in science, so what job opportunities are here at the ethanol plant? If you're interested in chemistry, biology, basic science, for example in this lab we have Brian, our lab manager, and we have a lab technician watching the overall process very closely. We're also doing research here to always look for newer and different ways to do things in making alcohol. We need electricians and instrumentation technicians, transportation and marketing, just to name a few of the many things that we can do right here in rural Minnesota. So what kind of college degrees do you need to work here? Well, in Brian's case, for example, Brian has a degree in biology. Our uh, production manager has a degree in uh, agribusiness. In terms of technical positions that are available, master electrician, millwrights that are certified in welding stainless steel, instrumentation technicians, boiler operators that are qualified and licensed to operate high pressure, high horsepower uh, heating plants. And in addition to providing a wide variety of jobs, it's supporting our farmers and it's reducing our dependence on foreign oil as well. Hi, I'm Delaney and another person I talked to about renewable energy is Dick Hemmingson from the University of Minnesota. It sounds like there's a lot of opportunities for people to become involved in the renewable energy programs. Oh, there are tremendous opportunities for young people looking forward in this renewable energy economy. Uh, let's start with bioenergy and bioproducts. People have to figure out how to utilize existing plant materials to convert them to energy or perhaps develop new plants and new crops to be converted to energy. So chemistry, physics, and biology, very important there. And then figuring out ways to utilize those new energy sources, whether they be next generation engines or other ways to utilize this energy. And then we can't lose track of the opportunities for those that are very interested in the environment because we need to make sure that these new plans and these new systems are helpful to the environment or perhaps even restorative to the environment. So there's just a whole range of opportunities in many, many different fields that are going to bring us to a brighter future in renewable energy. We're at the University, Dick. Can you tell me a little bit about why research is so important? 
Well, it's research at universities such as this that find those cutting edge breakthrough technologies. So whether it's discovering a new enzyme to convert trees into gasoline or a new approach to making a, an efficient solar cell, it's here at the university where these breakthrough discoveries are made that can be then taken into the marketplace for commercialization. Now, what are some of the classes that a high school student like myself could take if they wanted to become involved with renewable energy? Certainly a lot of opportunities in various aspects of biology in terms of growing plants, developing plants, any really field of chemistry, microbiology would be very important, but it's not just limited to that. People that are interested in the economics of these new systems, math and economics would be an important track. Really at the high school level, I think taking rigorous courses to make sure you can get into a quality university is important. This sounds like an exciting career path with a great future. Oh, there's no question, and this initiative for renewable energy and the environment is trying to make these opportunities available, not just for students who want to study, but for people who want to work in the field, and then obviously for our citizenry who are going to use these new, more environmentally friendly products from renewable energy. With a mechanical engineering degree, there are quite a few different opportunities for you. And uh, right out of college, I actually did some civil engineering work for a company that did geotechnical inspection and looking at earth compaction. But after working for a geotechnical firm, I went to work in northern Minnesota for a Hibbing Taconite company and worked in the iron mining industry. After being an engineer in the mining industry, I went over to Case IH, the tractor guys, and I served as a design engineer and a group design leader. And we designed uh, systems for mobile equipment. Uh, we were making self-propelled fertilizer applicators and we had engines and we had hydraulic systems and we had pumps and spray systems and high technology controllers. We were using satellite GPS technology for effective application of soil nutrients. Energy being a key thing to our lifestyle is always going to need people to have technology jobs to be engineers or chemists or technicians you don't have to be a wizard to get these jobs. If you work hard and you do some math and some science and you just apply yourself, a lot of these jobs can be yours and you're helping to contribute by continuing to create new ways to make clean energy and to make energy so we can live the way we do without impacting the environment. And there are opportunities in ethanol and in gasification and cellulose to ethanol, even wind, solar energy. The new kids coming along, they are tomorrow's technology providers in the future if you want to be running your your xbox or or you know on your computer that's all electricity and if and if somebody was to go and shut off the power plant today you wouldn't have any lights to be studying your math under or or playing your xbox with or watching your tv on we have to find ways to have a clean environment and to have electricity and energy so you can run your equipment and have the lifestyle that we that you have so there's a lot of opportunities for a lot of students to develop and grow and get educated and you know have a role in that to do something to help out their their environment they can have a direct impact on their environment by getting involved in technologies like this i think it's time to look into one of the careers they talked about joel don't you you've got that right suyin someone interested in science or math or biology or engineering has lots of opportunities in agriculture and if you want to help build plants or run them or maintain them, there's plenty of jobs for that too. Agriculture, bioenergy, and the food processing industries are the second largest employers in the state of Minnesota. And in the years ahead, there will be hundreds of new jobs available. There are opportunities for scientists, engineers, construction managers, biologists, mechanics, transportation specialists, financial specialists, lab managers, sales and marketing managers, and many more we don't even know about. Colleges and universities across the state offer degrees that prepare students for jobs in agriculture, bioenergy, processing, and management. When you work in these jobs, you earn top pay and have great opportunities for advancement. Check it out today.